Hey guys, and thank you for taking the time to check out my first tutorial. Uh, I'm going to assume that you're either waiting for your Raspberry Pi or it's just arrived and you're looking at taking the first steps to getting it up and running. The first thing we need to do is come to the, the raspberrypi.org website, which should look something like this, assuming you haven't changed it. And we need to go to the downloads section, which is highlighted there. When you're on the downloads section, you need to scroll down to find the distributions and there should be a number of distributions available to you depending on uh, when you have when you watch this video uh, they're bringing out new distributions all the time which is more optimized for the hardware um, bringing out better versions, faster versions and whatnot um, so for the purpose of the, this tutorial I'm going to be going for the Raspbian Wheezy um, Raspbian is based off uh, Debian which is a distribution for Linux but it's more optimized for the Raspberry Pi so what I'm going to do is select direct download you can select either direct download or torrents if you wish to and it should bring up this page and if you see there it says it'll take about five seconds there we go it's popped up if it doesn't load up for you you can click the direct link which is there okay now when you've got that downloading we also need a application which is called win32 disk imager which you can either search google for um, I'll put the link in my comments as well or you can if it's still at the time of viewing this video you can get it from the download section of the Raspberry Pi website so again you click on that and it brings you to the, the Softpedia website click download external mirror and it should start automatically for you <coughs> I have already uh, downloaded this prior to doing the video so um, I'll just cancel them off <coughs> okay uh, as you can see I, I've already burned mine to the the stick sorry the stick the card um, so you can just ignore that what you need to do is extract the win32 disk imager and you should get a bunch of files like this start the application and all you need to do then is select the disk image and then click on write. Make sure that your device is selected in the drop down box there. I've removed mine already so uh, that's why it's not appearing. And once that's all complete it will come up saying that the write is successful and then you could stick your, uh, your card into your Raspberry Pi. Okay so there's the Raspberry Pi with the, the memory card that we've just prepared on the side, got the HDMI port, <coughs> Ethernet cable, keyboard and mouse and the power source. So what I'll do, change the input source to HDMI and plug it in. And you can see it's loading up. So when that finishes loading, it should come up with a config menu that enables us to uh, configure our keyboards and time zone and whatnot. There you go. That is the uh, the config. Then it loads up. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to go straight to uh, finish. <coughs> and you'll see a prompt like this that will say, please type start X. Which is to start the X server and get our um, desktop environment up and running. And there we have it. That is the Raspbian distribution. Copy to, to the uh, SD card and it's up and running. So you can do exactly the same thing with the other distributions if you fancy trying them as well. So um, thank you for watching and I'll uh, look forward to posting my next tutorial.